Hey guys, it's Jake from Aussie Reptiles here again. Today's video is going to be on this tank here, what's in it, uh, a little bit of facts about what's in it, uh, and just a look at the enclosure for them. So let's jump straight into it. So what is exactly in this tank? Now this tank, um, most of its inhabitants are hidden. You can see one there, but we'll open the tank and have a better look. Alrighty, now I'm sure some of you maybe guessed it, um, but essentially this tank is, this enclosure is home to my eight, my group of brown tree frogs. So there's one chilling right here. You can see him there. That's a brown tree frog. Um, to be completely 100% honest, um, I'm not entirely too sure whether they are just the brown tree frog um, or whether they are actually the Victorian tree frog, brown tree frog, which are actually two different species. They're technically a subspecies, like the Victorian tree frog is a subspecies of the brown tree frog or southern brown tree frog. They do look quite a bit like the Victorian brown tree frogs. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments down below what they think and what they think as well. But I purchased these from a pet store as just brown tree frogs, so it's hard to tell. Unfortunately, without knowing really off the bat, it's a little bit tricky. And because appearance-wise they're pretty similar, it's hard to be 100% sure. This is their setup. Super, super simple. Large water bowl um, with some aquatic plants, so some java moss and uh, some baby tears-like plant. Fake hanging plant, a few branches, a vine, they've got some hiding spots down here, rocks and, uh, and logs that they can hide under. Then we've also got this pot plant which actually has a parlor palm growing in it, which they absolutely love and which I've taken a cutting from and put it in my terrarium up here as well. It'd be awesome if I could put them in here but unfortunately the fact that there's no lid, they'll just jump straight out. But uh, let's have a little bit of a closer look at these guys. So like any frog species, it's actually quite important to dampen your hands or wet your hands before handling them. Because frogs absorb stuff through their skin, if you have, especially at the moment with what's going on in the world, if you have hand sanitizers on your hand and touch the frog, there's a super high chance you're going to end up poisoning them, which is obviously not good for the little guys. So as I said, there is eight of them in here. There's that one there. I can see, what, oh, there's three back up in that corner and there's the one back there, which we look, had a look at earlier. Um, and I'm sure there's probably a few, uh, there's one hiding in here. Actually, there's two back there, but um, yeah, that's them. Now they did just recently get an upgrade. They were in a, a little bit of a smaller tank. This is plenty large enough for them, uh, especially once they're full size. Obviously right now you can see they're still a little bit smaller, not full grown adults but hopefully soon. Hopefully when they are full grown ad adults, because I've purchased these from uh, a few different places along the way, a few different stores, um, they're gonna be different bloodlines as well. So hopefully we'll have some nice Southern brown tree frog or Victorian brown tree frog, depending on which it is. Uh, brown tree frogs, let's just say that, um, some babies. So super cool. Again, that's just their setup there. Super simple, perfect. It allows viewing. A lot of the time they're out chilling on the branches uh, and on the vines, so you get to see them quite a bit, especially once the light goes out and I chuck some food in there for them. But uh, yeah, that's the brown tree frog tank. So the brown tree frog um, usually consists of um, about four to five centimeters in size once fully grown. Again, you can see that these guys are still quite small, quite young. They're not adults, not even close to adults. Um, they basically, their range is anywhere, well, basically the Southeast coast um, of basically from Victoria um, up into New, New South Wales, I believe. Um, I think they actually might even, some of them might uh, be down into, uh, towards Tasmania as well. Um, if any of you guys are watching from Tasmania, let me know if you guys have brown tree frogs down there. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're one of your most southern form of frogs, especially the southern brown tree frog. Now, as I was saying before, brown tree frogs and, uh, well, the Victorian tree frog and the southern brown tree frog. If you look up Victorian tree frog online, it basically only comes up with brown tree frogs, so the southern brown tree frog. Um, now, that's, again, what's online, um, but according to... Uh, this book by Marianne Artis, who's um, basically the best in frogs online, who I was fortunate enough, I just dropped the book, who I was fortunate enough to actually meet 
um, and get her to sign that book for me, which is absolutely amazing. Her book does show that there is two different species. They're basically exactly the same last name, just a little bit of a difference. I'll pop them uh, at the bottom of the screen now so you can have a look at them. So what I would say is probably the Victorian tree frog is just a subspecies. Again, I'll have to look into it more. I haven't actually really done much research on it. But I would say that the Victorian tree frog is just a subspecies of the southern brown tree frog. That's a little bit more endemic to certain areas of Victoria. But anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I better close this up before some of the frogs escape. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.